Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I will explain the case statement that can be written in PL SQL. There are two types of case statements that I'll be discussing. The first is simply the case statement and the second type is the searched case statement. The case statement is very similar to the if then else if statement that allows you to take actions based on different conditions. Consider the flowchart displayed on this slide. It consists of many different checks which are being done with actions to perform for each type of check. We first begin by checking the first condition. The outcome of a condition can either be true or false. On this slide, the first condition is, is SID salary equal to 6,000? If the answer is yes, the salary is 6,000, that is the outcome of the condition is true, the string to display is earns a salary of 6,000. If the answer is no, the salary is not 6,000, the condition is false, we can proceed to perform the next check, which is to see if SID salary is equal to 4,000. For this condition also, the outcome can be true or false. If it is true, you want to display the string, earns a salary of 4,000. If it is false, you want to proceed to perform the next check, which is to see if SID's salary is 2,000. If it is true, the string to display is earns a salary of 2,000. If it is false, you want to perform an action which is based on the fact that none of the conditions were true, which is to display the string none of the above salary values. I explained how to write the if else if statement in my previous tutorial. On this slide is an example of how the flowchart from the previous slide would, would be translated into an if else if construct. We perform multiple checks on the content of a variable called vSalary. It begins with a check to see if vSalary is equal to 6000. If it is true, the string to display is earns a salary of 6000. After executing the statement or the action, the program will continue with the statement following the entire if construct. If it is false, another check will be done to see if V salary is equal to 4000. If it is true, the string to display is earns a salary of 4000. After executing the action, the program will continue with the statement following the entire if construct. If it is false, another check will be done to see if V salary is equal to 2000. If that is true, the string to display is earns a salary of 2000. After executing the action, the program will continue with the statement following the entire if construct. If it is false, you don't have any more checks to perform. However, you still want to take care of the situation where none of the conditions were met. This is done with the else which will display the string none of the above salary values. If you have understood how the if else if statement behaves, it is very easy to understand the case statement. The syntax of the case statement is displayed on this sl slide as case memory variable when value 1 then one or more executable statements where each executable statement is terminated with a semicolon when value 2 then one or more executable statements optionally you can continue with other checks such as when value 3 then one or more executable statements then to take care of none of the other conditions being satisfied is the else part of the case statement, 
which is made up of the keyword else followed by one or more executable statements. The entire case is then closed with the words end space case semicolon. On this slide is an example of the use of the case statement that performs different checks based on three discrete values taken by the memory variable called vSalary. It begins with the word case followed by the name of the memory variable vSalary. The when clause identifies the first value for comparison which in this case is 6000 followed by the keyword then which takes care of the action to be done which is to display the string earns a salary of 6000. If the vSalary was if the vSalary variable value was 6000 the outcome of the comparison is true the action will be performed and execution will continue with the statement following the entire case statement if the value is not 6000 the outcome of the condition is false and the check next check will be done to see if the vSalary variable takes the value 4000 if the comparison is true the string displays as earns a salary of 4000 followed by the execution of the statement following the entire case statement. If it is not 4000, the next check will be done to see if the, the variable takes the value 2000. In a similar manner, if the comparison is true, the string displays as earns a salary of 2000 and the execution will move on to the statement following the entire case statement. If V salary is not 6000, 4000 or 2000, this would satisfy the else part of the case statement and the string that will display is none of the above salary values. The case is then closed with the words end case. On this slide is a complete PLSQL program showing you the use of the case statement. A variable called vSalary is first declared in the declaration section to hold the salary of the employee called SID. In the body of the program, a select statement retrieves SID salary and puts it into the memory variable vSalary. This is followed by the case statement which displays one of the strings depending on the salary value. I discussed the behavior of this case statement on the previous slide. So depending on SID salary, one of the strings will be displayed. A variation of the case statement is a searched case statement. On this slide is a flowchart that describes how different checks can be done. First, a check is being done to see if SID salary is greater than 6000. If that is true, the string to display is earns more than Tom. If it is false, another check is performed to see if SID salary is greater than 4000. If that is true, the string to display is earns more than Bob. If the check is false, another check is done to see if SID salary is greater than 2000. Once again, if it's true, the string to display is earns more than Rick. If it is false, None of the checks were true, so this is handled by displaying the string earns less than the others. In my earlier tutorial on the if statement, I discussed this particular example when explaining the behavior of the if then else if statement. I'm repeating it here so that you can understand the similarity be between this construct and the searched case statement. The code that's written is if v salary greater than 6000 then dbms output line earns more than tom else if v salary greater than 4000 then dbms output line earns more than bob else if v salary greater than 2000 dbms output line earns more than rick else dbms output line earns less than the others end if what I want you to observe in the example is the condition. In this case, 
the V salary variable is being compared with a value using an operator other than that of equality. The operator that's being used is the greater than operator. When a comparison is done using an operator other than that of equality, you would want to use the searched case statement. The syntax of the searched case statement is on this slide. It is case when condition 1, then one or more executable statements. When condition 2, then one or more executable statements. This can continue for all the conditions that you want to check. If none of the conditions are true, you can handle this with the else part of the case, which is followed by one or more executable statements. The case statement closes with the words end space case semicolon. Notice in this particular syntax that there is no memory variable following the word case. On this slide is the use of the searched case statement. It goes as when V salary greater than 6000, then DBMS output line earns more than Tom. If that condition is not true, the next check is done with when V salary greater than 4000, then DBMS output line earns more than Bob. If that condition is also true, it continues with when V salary greater than 2000, then DBMS output line earns more than Rick. If none of the conditions are true, the else is executed, which would display earns less than the others. The case is terminated by end case. On this slide is another example of the searched case statement. In this example, we have different conditions and actions based on different criteria. The first check is based on the contents of the variable V salary. The check is being done to see if V salary is greater than 6000. If that condition is true, the string that will display is earns more than Tom. If that condition is not true, another check is done that's based on a memory variable called V city. If the variable vCity takes the value Baltimore, the string to be displayed is lives in Baltimore. If that condition is not true, then another check is done based on a memory variable called vJob. If the value of vJob is equal to manager, the string that will be displayed is he is a manager. If none of the conditions are true, the string to be displayed is none of the conditions were met. The searched case statement allows you to write conditions based on different memory variables as well as different types of operators. On this slide is the complete PLSQL program showing you the use of the searched case statement. Three variables called vSalary, vCity and vJob are being declared in the declaration section. The body of the program has a select statement that retrieves the salary, city and job values from the employees table into the corresponding memory variables for the employee whose name is Sid. The checks are being done using the case statement that I explained on the previous slide. In this program, based on which condition is true first, the corresponding statement will be displayed. That is, even if two of the criteria are true, for instance, let's say that the salary is greater than 6000, as well as Sid is a manager. Now, during the execution of the case statement, because the first condition will be true, only the string earns more than Tom will be displayed. After the string is displayed, execution will exit the entire case statement and continue with the statement following the end case, which in this case is end. 
So even though uh, Sid is a manager, the string will never display as he is a manager. In this tutorial, I explained the case statement that can be written in PL SQL. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.